This is the third part of the series uh, dealing with term sheets. And when you raise money for your company as, as an entrepreneur or a capital seeker, you're going to find that there are many legal and financial vehicles that can be employed that will balance the needs of both parties, individual and mutual concerns. At this part, we'll, we're going to discuss the mutual needs. And again, you should have retained a good securities attorney at this stage. And additionally, uh, this is a part where you're going to want to have a good solid uh, CPA uh, or accountant to get guidance on what suits your uh, needs best as well as the mutual needs. But we can offer uh, some more ideas here for you as well. And uh, with regard to the mutual needs, this part, you're going to have some help because the investor is working with you, be it uh, a private equity, uh, venture capital firm, or an angel investor even. And we're going to be looking at both parties coming out uh, at the best possible scenario here. So one of the things is retention of the key management. Uh, you've got to consider this very carefully. You know, what is your what does your management structure look like now? Are you looking for key people? A lot of times you're going to find that uh, the capital provider is in a position to provide resources in the form of management for you. Through their experience and history with dealing with uh, many, many companies, uh, you'll find them a good uh, resource here. So uh, the other thing is the composition of the board of directors. And ultimately, you're probably going to see a representative of your capital source uh, on your board of directors, and I would welcome that. Uh, there's some valuable insights you're going to be able to get from that. Uh, so that's one of the things you'll work on together. Another thing is governance documents. When you get into this stage and you're at a term sheet, you're going to be establishing some guidelines that may be a little bit more than what you started out with uh, previous to the funding. And this provides a forum for uh, making decisions, changing things that have been pre-established, and resolving any conflicts between the investor's wishes or needs or wants and uh, yours. So this is one you want to take very slowly and carefully. Now, uh, another item that is a mutual need in the term sheet uh, would deal with the health of the post-investment company. In other words, after the funds are in, there should be mutually agreed upon uses of proceeds. And governance documents are put in place to look at expenditures, uh, investments, ratios. Uh, believe me, the investor is going to want to check up and see that those funds are being put to use uh, in the uh, places that were agreed to mutually. Uh, additionally, some of the items under that would be things like tax consequences of the investments that are being made and the expenditures that are being made. Uh, for example, uh, expenditures on payroll have uh, ultimately some tax consequences, whereas uh, expenditures in other areas may have some tax benefits. So uh, it gets a little complex at this point, and you'll have your advisors working with you. If you run into some questions and you'd like to get uh, a little bit of input on it, we deal with term sheets all of the time, and we've seen many, many permutations of them, and uh, we'll be glad to help you. Just give us a call at the Capital Match Point. That's what we're here for.